a Wikivide documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Kareem El Amadi Kareem El Amadi Rousey is a Moroccan professional footballer who plays as a defensive midfielder for Feyenoord. El Amadi was born in the Netherlands and played for FC20 and Feyenoord before moving to the Premier League with Aston Villa in 2012, and subsequently returning to Feyenoord in September 2014. Early Life El Amadi was born and raised in Enschede, Overheysel, Netherlands. His parents are both Moroccan, making him eligible to acquire the Moroccan citizenship and represent the Morocco national football team. Udi At the age of nine, El Amadi started playing football at local Enschede club Udi. He got noticed quickly by scouts from 20 and was invited to join their academy. FC 20 on 21 March 2004, El Amadi made his official debut in 20's first team in the away match against FC Utrecht where he played 90 minutes. El Amadi able to get more playing two more game against Groningen and RBC Rosendahl, but, with the return of on the last match of the season in a match against RKC Wolwijk on 9 May 2004, El Amadi provided as assist for Kim Christensen to make it 3-2, but RKC Wolwijk scored in the late minutes to make 3-3. The following season 2004-05, El Amadi began coming on as a substitute for the next two games against Ajax and RKC Wolwijk at the start of the season. In a match against Hienveen on 28 August 2004, El Amadi played for 90 minutes and setting up a goal for Blaise and Kufo in a 4-1 victory. On 13 November 2004, El Amadi scored his first goal for the club in a 2-0 win over NEC at the end of the season. El Amadi played 16 league games, playing mostly on the wing positions. He then quickly became a first team regular. The following 2005-06 season, El Amadi found himself out of the first team and made eight appearance following an arrival of Kennedy Baker Glow and Patrick Gerritsen and then the following 2006-07 season. El Amadi suffered a knee injury in UEFA Cup match against Ukrainian side Lovardia Tallinn in a 1-1 draw. After recovering, El Amadi returned to the reserve and by mid-November, El Amadi played his first match of the season, coming on as a substitute for Wout Brahma in a 7-1 win over Groningen. After the match, El Amadi began established himself in the starting eleven, playing in the right side of the support. In late October, El Amadi signed a contract with the club until 2009, with an options to extend until 2011. On 3 February 2007, El Amadi scored the first goal in a match with 21-2-1 over Excelsior. On 8 April 2007, El Amadi scored 20 only goal in the game in a 1-1 draw against Heracles. El Amadi played a single game for the club from 13 November 2006 to 29 April 2007. At the end of season 2006-07, the club became fourth which resulted in entering the UEFA Cup. The following 2007-08 season, 20 began suffering after the club sold Bakerglue to Ajax and Scharbel Tuma sold to German side Borussia Mönchengladbach. Even worse, when Patrick Gerritsen suffered leg injury leading El Ahmadi managed to get more playing time in the starting lineup. In late July, El Ahmadi signed a contract extension which will keep him until 2011. Manager Fred Rutten said on a new contract. For the club it's fantastic that we can keep players of this kind. At the end of 2007-08 season, El Amadi made 33 appearances primarily playing as a defender. At the end of the season FC20 qualified for the UEFA Champions League, all thanks to the rapid development from the defensive midfielder. Feyenoord on 16 April 2008, it was announced that El Amadi signed a five-year deal with Dutch club Feyenoord for a transfer fee of €5 million. Euros. After a groin injury had initially kept him from playing he made his debut on 2 October 2008, coming on as a substitute for Luigi Bruins in the UEFA Cup match against Kalmar FF, which Feyenoord won 2-1. He made his debut in the starting lineup against NEC which ended in a 0-2 home defeat on 5 October 2008 before coming off after 58 minutes. On 9 November 2008, El Amadi scored his first goal for the club in a 5-2 win over Utrecht. On of February 2009, 
El Ahmadi scored his second goal for the club in a 2-0 win over de Graaf's Chap. Since making his debut, he played regularly in the starting lineup, which led to interest from a German team Hamburger SV. In early April El Ahmadi suffered an ankle injury before making his return in the last game of the season, a 3-2 loss against Roda JC. At the end of the season, he was linked to league rivals PSV Eindhoven, however, no offer was made from the club. In the following 2009-10 season under manager Mario Bin, El Ahmadi was deployed in central midfield with the rise of youngsters Leroy Fur and Jonathan de Guzman. Playing in this position, he played 26 league games. In the quarter-final of the KNVB Cup, he scored a brace and set up a goal for captain Giovanni van Bronckhorst in a 3-0 win over PSV Eindhoven on 27 January 2010. Feyenoord would later on reach the final of the KNVB Cup which they lost 6-1 on aggregate to Ajax. At the end of 2009-10 season, El Ahmadi was linked to another German team Schalke 04. After a loan spell at Al Ali club, El Ahmadi returned to Feyenoord. Under manager Ronald Koeman he managed to become a regular in the starting lineup as a midfielder forming a partnership with Jordi Classy and Dortmund Backel. On the 11th of September 2011, he scored his first goal since 2009 in a 3-1 win overnight breeder. On the 16th of October 2011, El Ahmadi scored again this season in a 4-0 win over VVV Venlo. Loan to Al Ali Club after making 15 league appearance in the 2010-11 season at Feyenoord, El Ahmadi joined a new AE team Al Ali club on a six-month loan deal in order for the club to boost funds required to sign a new striker on 25 January 2011. On 4 February 2011, he made his debut for the club in a 0-0 draw against Hal Darfur SCC on 24 March 2011. He scored his first goal in the UAE league with a 2-2 draw against Itihad Kalba. During his loan El Ahmadi appeared in 10 games and scored one goal. At the end of the season, he stated he wants to play European football again next season and that the level of competition at Al Ali was too low compared to the weakest teams in the Dutch league. Chairman of Al Ali Football Club, Abdullah Saeed Al Nabuda, said the club wanted to sign El Ahmadi on a permanent basis, however, the two clubs failed to reach an agreement. Aston Villa on 26 June 2012, both the British and Dutch media strongly linked El Ahmadi with a transfer to Aston Villa of England's Premier League. Soon after, new Villa manager Paul Lambert confirmed his interest in the player. On 2 July 2012, El Ahmadi completed his transfer from Feyenoord to Aston Villa for an undisclosed fee believed to be around £2 million. This made him Lambert's first signing as Aston Villa manager, and Aston Villa's second signing of the summer. On 14 July 2012, El Ahmadi made his debut in a 2-1 win against Burton Albion at the Pirelli Stadium demonstrating a man-of-the-match performance. On 25 August, he made his home debut and scored a spectacular strike in the 74th minute in Aston Villa's 3-1 defeat to Everton. Having made a good start despite losing opening two Premier League games of the season, El Ahmadi was voted the club's player of the month of August. Later in the season, El Ahmadi was left out of the squad due to injury and made 24 appearances across all competitions. El Ahmadi started the 2013-14 season in very good form demonstrating solid performances in midfield including a goal in a 3-2 win against Manchester City. In Aston Villa's win against Chelsea, El Ahmadi escaped serious injury after Chelsea midfielder Ramirez appeared to stamp on El Ahmadi. As a result, Ramirez was sent off. Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho was also sent to the stands in the aftermath of the incident. Return to Feyenoord On 1 September 2014, El Ahmadi returned to Feyenoord for an undisclosed transfer fee, signing a contract that would keep him at Dequip until 2017. On of April 2018 he played as Feyenoord won the 2017-18 KNVB Cup Final 3-0 against Az Alkmaar. International career El Ahmadi played for the Dutch national youth teams, but opted to represent Morocco at the 2005 FIFA World Youth Championship in the Netherlands. In May 2018 he was named in Morocco's 23-man squad for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like